couple years ago, the conventional wisdom on the web was that no one would watch long form video. Uh, now you've got Hulu, uh, sort of exploded that myth. We're all comfortable with the idea of watching long form video. What does that mean for a site like yours? How do you guys deal with that? Well, <clears throat> it's kind of interesting. First, first of all, I run uh, online video sales at msnbc.com, which is why I'm here, <laughs> and also a host, I suppose. Um, it's really interesting in the sense that when you look at MSNBC in particular, um, and you think about sort of the, the genesis of online video, the, the initial idea was video snacking, right? Everyone watched the 15 or 30 second clip, and we all know that <clears throat> there was a great explosion that YouTube created on the web that really popularized. I always say that there were sort of two critical moments, if you, if you want to oversimplify this, and one was YouTube, which, which created mass in terms of consumption. But, but really, the, the next, which to me is the, was the marketing, was sort of the critical mass in terms of marketing, was Hulu. And I think what Hulu did was create that sort of, you know, the, the idea that people were watching TV online. And so you had what was, from an advertising perspective, and what I think most of us have seen, you know, we were sort of all waiting this, this mythical, when the TV dollars shift, right? right? You know, we all heard that. Well, it, you know, and it's a trickle, but it's starting to pick up. And I think one of the critical factors in that has been this movement to longer form content. MSNBC is really interesting in that video snacking, that whole concept, really began with news. And news is still the dominant category of video consumption on the web. But what we see is when we create what we call show players for Rachel Maddow, you know, Countdown with Keith Obman, Nightly News, Today Show, that the way people consume video in that show player experience is very different than the way they snack in sort of a video player that is, you know, that, that contains all video clips. So we'll see consumption in Rachel Maddow of 20 minutes or more per session. Is this because you've embedded in a specific kind of player? No, this is because people are coming to the site and consuming the entire show. And increasingly what we're seeing is by show, when we create these show player experiences, people are averaging upwards of 15 to 20 minutes per session per show. on those sites. Regardless so, of what sort of content that is. Yeah, and it, it's a really interesting thing. And one other thing that I, I was reading earlier today that I thought was a particularly telling um, you know, a numerical fact was the fact that 29% of people under the age of 25 are now watching most or all of their television on the web. So, so you think they're seeking it out? They're not doing catch up viewing. It's sort of one of the lines you hear from people who want I, people TV well, not to freak out and say, "This is catch up viewing." Given the choice, they'd rather watch it on TV. But if they miss an episode of The Office, they'll watch it on Hulu. I, I, I think you got there's an element of both. I mean, I think, I think in the sense that, um, and I think one of the interesting things we were, a group of us were talking about the iPad earlier, but <clears throat> and I'm sure that won't come up at all tonight. Um, but the the fact is, you know, we're designing an app right now that's really about the interactive nature of watching a program while you're actually, you know, tweeting or doing whatever, engage with an audience, and that's, you know, not that we're totally unique in that regard. I think we will do some things that are fairly unique there, but, but the fact is, I think it's, it's catch-up viewing. It's becoming much more engagement with a program as it's actually being viewed simultaneously. And then I think what you're starting to see in the content creation side of things is good content. I mean. I think finally, you know, I, I watched this Ileana Douglas show um, that's, uh, I think it's easy to assemble or something like that. It's called, it's filmed at a, at a Ikea store. And it's hilarious. It's as good as what's being produced on television. So I think we're starting to see episodic content being produced for the web that's 10 minutes and longer, you know, per segment. And people are watching it that way. Since you brought it up, why don't you tell us about the iPad app? When, when can we see it and what's going to be in it? I can't tell you. <laughs> no, I, I mean, it's, it's one of our shows. What I could say is it's one of our shows. Um, it will be coming out in the next couple months. Um, show specific. Yeah, it's specific to one of our programs. And will it have the full shows. content of that show? Yeah. It, yeah. It'll have the full content. It will have interactive features that will allow you to engage with the, with the host of the show, as well as you know, other people who are watching the show, as well as the producer of the show. It'll have a lot of different hooks that actually allow that kind of social engagement aspect that, you know, that 
we're just sort of peeking into right now. And when you put that show up for free on the iPad that your MSOs are paying you for access to, what do you think the reaction is going to be? And I think that what I think one of the things is you're testing a new market. You know, so I think I think that's a challenge for us every day, right? I mean, the fact is that when our stuff is is embedded and put on another site or, or what have you, it's always a challenge when you're looking at the economics. But the fact is that this is going to be testing a new market that probably will be very significant. And you know, that's I, I wouldn't be surprised if we hear some some pushback from them. But my guess is that that um, it's going to take a little bit for this market to get going, um, but it's going to be big.